Hey, Steve Noble, Noble Moto. Uh, I'm gonna do an oil change on the primary on an M8 soft tail. It's pretty simple. One drain plug, a little derby cover, fill it back up, good to go. I'll show you where the drain plug is and where you put the new oil in. So, let's get right to it. Next, you're gonna to wanna to remove the primary oil. So in order to do that, you have to remove the primary oil drain plug, which is located right here, oops, sorry, right here on the bottom of the primary. Next thing you're going to want to do is remove the primary oil drain plug. As this big hex bolt here it takes a 5 8 wrench. And lefty loosey, that sucker, right on out of there. And of course, have your drain pan ready. Because just like all the other ones, oil's coming out as soon as you pull the drain plug. Now, as the engine oil drains, it's a good chance to take a look at your drain plug here. You can see this little magnet on here, and this should pick up metal shavings. There's not much on here, so that's pretty good. So we're going to wipe this clean, wipe everything off of here. And then we'll put a new, new O-ring on the drain plug, and then reinstall the drain plug once the oil is done draining. Now we can reinstall the drain plug. You want to start this in with your fingers and make sure it threads all the way in with your fingertips. If it's tight too early, it's not all the way in yet. It's binding up and you're cross threading it or something. You don't want that, you'll strip it out. And snug it up and torque it to spec. And you're gonna to wanna to torque this to 14 to 21 foot pounds. Now you're ready to reinstall your primary trans your primary oil. Now to fill your primary oil, you're gonna have to remove the derby cover. This takes a T25 torque spit. Go around, loosen them all up. Now, you can take your one quart of gear oil, it's technically a wee little bit under, I think it's like 0.9 something quarts, whatever, just put a quart in it. Fill that up. You can't overfill this. As you can see, I'm just squirting the oil down in there. Just fill it all, put the whole quart in there. And uh, the theory is it should fill up to the, like the bottom of the, uh, basically to like the bottom of the fill hole just a little bit below that, uh, so you can't overfill it. If you do, it just spills out. All right, so to check your primary oil, once you take the clutch, and, or clutch or derby cover off, you should be able to look down in here and you'll see oil filled right up to the bottom of this pressure plate. If you kind of dip down there with a screwdriver, you should actually be able to see the oil swish around a little bit. I don't know if you can actually see it in there. Let's lean forward with this camera a little bit. Should be able to see that level hopefully right there at the tip of the screwdriver. 
excuse my amateur lighting technique. But as long as it's up to the bottom of the pressure plate, you're good. You pull up extra in there, it's okay. Now to reinstall the clutch or derby cover. Make sure your O-ring is in place here. Make sure it's nice and clean. It's not kinked or damaged in any way. And you can place your cover up here and line up all the bolt holes. Start these in evenly, in a crisscross pattern. I'll ensure you don't pitch the cover sideways. On some years, especially the air-cooled Sportster years, Evo air-cooled Sportster, it was easy to tilt this to the side, then the gasket would get pinched, then they would leak. Then you have to fix it on your wife's bike on the side of a hill in Black Mountain Harley, uh, somewhere in North Carolina in the middle of a trip. Luckily, the people there were very nice. Run these in a crisscross pattern till they're in snug. Torque to spec, you're ready to go ride.